Hi everyone, I hope you are well. Thanks for joining me for these next few moments. It's so great to have you. Um, I'm Abs, I've got very big hair today. Um, but I'm from Chester, I uh, get to lead our kids department, which is 100% brill, fabulous, amazing, all the joys in kids department. Um, I'm also a first year college student at Audacious College. Um, it truly has been um, my biggest year yet. Uh, if you feel like God is speaking to you uh, to create some more space for him, I highly, highly recommend you come and join us on the Audacious College train. Um, maybe you come and do a part-time course or come and get involved as a full-time student. Um, it'd be great to have you. Anyway, you are so, so welcome here. Um, thanks for coming to join me um, wherever you are. Maybe you're my next door neighbour. Maybe you're 101 miles away. Um, but I am really glad you are here. Um, I want to share um, a verse that means a lot to me, has a lot of importance and significance in my life. Um, I want to share a little bit of my story and hopefully give you some breakthrough, um, some joy and some just a greater understanding and hope of um, what a friend, what a life we have with Jesus. Um, so I'm reading from Ephesians chapter one. Um, this is Paul's letter to the church in Ephesus. Um, what a cool name, way cooler than Chester, I reckon, but not sure. Um, Ephesians chapter one, verse 13 says, and you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth, the gospel of your salvation. When you believed, you were marked in him with the promised Holy Spirit. You also were included. I don't know about you, but maybe if you had times where you felt rejected or isolated, that's made you feel like you're not included. Um, how good is it that the truth for us today is that we are included in Christ. We get to be a part of this God life, this audacious life, um, knowing Jesus, loving him, serving him, his people and his church, um, and inviting others to come and join um, just this life as well. Um, you know, the church isn't just for those who are already saved, but it's there to have more people um, come and join us. But... Um, a bit of my story, I guess, is that I grew up with mum and dad in church, but never really grasped it for myself. Um, went to school, obviously, and had a teacher tell me um, who in their right mind would choose you. Um, at the time, obviously, that really hurt, um, but then didn't realise I'd then have that become part of my DNA. Um, it almost became part of who I was and that I was someone who shouldn't be chosen. And with that came thoughts and feelings of, uh, I'm, you know, I'm easily, some people forget about me, I'm forgettable, um, I'm not important, there's no point in being my friend, having a chat, um, you know, I'm not worthy, I shouldn't be, shouldn't, you know, I should be isolated, I'm better off on my own and all these different things. So I got to high school and sort of approached relationships thinking I'm going to get rejected so do I kind of hop off this bus early because I'll just save their time and my time? Um, but I tried to make friends, tried to, you know, live this great life. I was doing a lot of athletics. So I was, the weekends I was out, you know, running a load of races, winning some medals, you know, like looked pretty good on the outside. But on the inside, I was really isolated, super lonely. Um, I was getting bullied by my classmates. I had some people tell me, Things like that they don't want my name on their leavers hoodie, that I shouldn't be allowed in the student yearbook, um, which just, as I said, has made me feel or made me feel really isolated. Um, I'd spend my lunchtime sat in the toilets, desperate to go home um, and just became a really uh, anxious person. I was really stressed. I was very angry. Um, that things were the way they were and I decided that because of my circumstances surely God like can't can't be real or if he is he's not good or I've done you know it's my mistakes that mean God has rejected me 
um and then kept getting invited kept oh i've just dropped my bible kept get oh i'm still here kept here we go getting invited to youth nights at church and i'd always find excuses not to go and i'm like oh i've got x y and z on and i decided that you know cutting my next door neighbor's hairdresser's dog walker's grass wasn't a good enough excuse so i was like okay enough's enough i'll go and what I didn't realise was that that night would completely change my life. Um, when it came to time to respond um, to Jesus, um, I ran at it with my arms wide open, desperate, and um, for two things. I wanted freedom and I wanted to be accepted. Um, what I didn't realise then is there's all the wonderful things as well that come along with it. Such, you know, come along with, um, you know, being saved and living with Jesus. Things like um, that we have, we're completely forgiven, we're totally accepted, um, that we have so much grace, mercy, favour on our lives because of Jesus. Um, and it was then I spent a year sort of working out what life with Jesus is all about and learning about, okay, this is the new life, this is a better life I can now live. Life is sweeter in the presence of Jesus. Um, I then went to Luminous Conference and heard these words spoken from Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 um, and I think it was Julie Kerr, Pastor Julie Kerr who was sharing that God has rewritten our isolation story, that we are now included in Christ, in community and um, we have the you know people that are, um, we are people who are designed to be with other people and designed to live with Jesus too. Um, that we're now marked, we're set apart um, because of what, um, because of a promised Holy Spirit um, and we now live in the freedom, the light and life um, that Jesus brings. There is nothing that you can, you have done, are doing and will do that will say, that will mean that Jesus' intentions change. You know, God always makes the first move. He always, you know, he goes first Um there's nothing that you can do that will now reject, that will mean God rejects you or you're no longer worthy or deserving of relationship with Jesus. But actually, we all get to be a part of it that, you know, no matter what other people have said um, of, you know, who in their right mind would choose you. Jesus says who in their right mind wouldn't. Oh, my goodness. You're a 10 out of 10 um, in Isaiah, I think, in I want to say chapter 53. Um, in the message version, it talks, uh, God says, you're my chosen people. I would trade all of creation just for you. And church, let that be the truth that is at the forefront of your minds today. No longer am I rejected, isolated, unworthy, forgettable, unforgivable. None of that. No longer is that my truth. But I now walk and live in the truth, the fact and knowledge I am deeply loved, I'm totally forgiven, and I'm completely accepted. Um, that you know, my my quirks, my shortfallings, all of that, I'm accepted. It, I am accepted. Every part of me is loved by God. He'd trade all of creation for me. Because of the Holy Spirit, I'm accepted. Let that be your truth today. Now, if you if you still and maybe feel that um, these thoughts and feelings of, oh, but I still feel this way. I'm still on that journey too. Um, just because I've said it and I, um, I'm reading it and I'm encouraging you with it now, doesn't mean that I am, you know, completely have the, you know, I've, it's, you know, from black to white. Um, it's a constant journey of learning. Oh yeah, I am accepted. Okay, like let me right, let me remind my heart that I'm accepted. I am accepted, I'm chosen, I'm called, I'm commissioned with a plan and a purpose. Healing for some sometimes can come in a moment and sometimes it's, okay, I'm gonna walk in this healing. I'm gonna have good days, I'm gonna have bad days, but I'm joining my movements. I'm walking in healing. I'm walking in the understanding and I'm growing in the um, understanding that I am included. So I highly recommend you keep digging in the word of God to sustain you and to um, continue to remind you of that truth that you are included. 
Um, but we're reading a book in my life group at the minute called The Search for Significance. And I highly, highly recommend if you've not read that book already and maybe you too struggle with feelings of um, isolation, rejection um, and kind of un feelings of being unacceptable. Um, I really do recommend you check out that book. The words of I think it's Robert McGee um, are just so helpful to gain an understanding of why we feel um, how we feel about things and what does God's truth say above that. Um, one of my favourite verses from that is Romans chapter 5 verse 1 is we're now at peace with God because of Jesus Christ. We live at peace with God. Me and him, we have peace because of Jesus. Um, so be encouraged church today that you are included here, quirks and all. Your, you know, past thoughts and feelings that maybe change how you are today, um, all embraced, all chosen, all uniquely loved um, by Jesus and by the church. So get involved, take a step of courage. It was really hard for me to come to that first youth night, but man, it has changed my life. Jesus rocks my world. Um, so take a step of faith, share that moment, choose vulnerability um, because that's where breakthrough lies and that's where we can gain the revelation that we are deeply loved, totally accepted and forgiven. Thanks for joining me in these moments, guys. Um, I pray that um, as you continue throughout today, um, or maybe tomorrow or whatever, um, would you know that you are totally, totally accepted. I'm going to read the verse one more time and then I'll let you crack on. Um, but it's... Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 and you also were included in Christ when you heard the message of truth the gospel of your salvation when you believed you were marked in him with the Holy Spirit verse 14 goes on to say the spirit is God's guarantee that he will give us the inheritance he promised and that he has purchased us to be his own people he did this so we would praise him and glorify him. Church, let's praise him knowing that you are included. Thanks for joining me and I hope to see you very, very soon. Bye.